Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about the calculation of bioavailability parameters using method of residuals. All right, let's start uh, the formula. Uh, with the, let's start with the formula. Okay, take a look at the formula here for one compartmental oral administration. Here's the formulas. Constant CP, the concentration at any given time point is dose divided by volume, right, times F times Ka over Ka minus Ke times e to the power of minus Ket minus e to the power of minus e to the power Kat. Okay, here is a formula. Usually, probably you may have seen like this K uh, F dose times Ka over V times Ka minus Ke times e to the power of minus Ket minus e to the power of minus Kat. Probably you may have seen the formula like this, right? So, but I have rewritten this in a different way so that it will be easy for you to understand. Uh, let's discuss this one step, one step at a time. Okay, as I mentioned in my previous videos, concentration is nothing but dose divided by volume. If you are measuring the concentration of a drug uh, in a beaker, that is the drug, the amount which you have taken, or volume, right? So that is nothing but dose divided by volume. So here, concentration is equal to dose divided by volume. Since there involves, because it's an oral delivery, and there involves some kind of uh, fraction that may be excreted or eliminated or uh, metabolized in the gut liver, so only a partial fraction is uh, is absorbed across the chain, right? And is available in the blood, right? So that's why we have the bioavailability fraction F times the constant is Ka because the drug is absorbed at a constant rate, Ka, and eliminated at a constant rate. And this particular equation gives us information about the rate in an, uh, the fraction at any time point that is entering into the body and the fraction that is eliminating from the body at any time point. So Ke is about the elimination and Ka is about the rate in. Now, now if I take this part of the equation and if I say presume this is a has an alpha. Okay, I'm going to rewrite this equation now. Cp is equal to A times e to the power of minus Ket minus e to the power of minus Kat. Alright, so I have rewritten this equation like this. And if I multiply this again with A, A is equal to e to the power of minus Ket minus A, A times e to the power of minus Kat. Okay. So this fraction deals with the elimination, okay, and this fraction deals with the the absorption, okay. By the way, the rate of absorb the absorption and elimination are both a continuous process until the drug is completely absorbed and eliminated from the body, okay. Okay, if I just draw one compartment model oral administration the graph will look something like this right and simply if I extrapolate this equation till time 0 till time 0 okay if I extrapolate this concentration this is nothing but the method of residual by the way so I simply extrapolate the concentration back okay and this intercept this intercept reveals the information about the A, the intercept is nothing but the A here, okay? Again, let me remind you, what is A? A is equal to dose divided by volume times F times Ka over Ka minus Ke, okay? So that is A I mentioned here earlier. So take a look at this. This is the part, okay, which I mentioned earlier. Memorize, just, you know, go through the equation and ask yourself what is the role of each um, you know part on the equation so then the intercept the extrapolated intercept gives us information about a if intercept okay intercept is equal to dose divided by volume times f times k a over k a minus k e if i rewrite this equation okay then then intercept is nothing but A, right? I'm going to rewrite this equation because all I need to do is I want to find out the F, right? So 
F is equal to V A times V times K A minus K E. This is K A minus K E. I don't know some of my pen is not working properly. Anyway, so K A minus K E divided by the dose times K A. Right? Okay. All right. Now, if you have the information of the intercept and the VD and the KA, KE and the dose, we can easily calculate fraction, I mean F, that's a fraction that is available, right? So, as you can see from the previous graph which I plotted earlier, okay, let's say, again, I'm plotting again. So, here is a one compartment model, uh, oral. So, when I'm extrapolating this equation, how this equation looks like again, this is looks like a linear regression, y is equal to mx plus c, right? I hope you are aware how to extrapolate this equation. Simply, if I know the slope, okay, if I am aware of the slope m, that is nothing but minus k, and that means from in this equation, I am aware of m, and I know, I have no idea about my concentration, extrapolated concentration. Let me rewrite this equation, y is equal to mx plus c, right? m is what? Nothing but minus k, okay? c is what? The intercept that I have. So how do I find out the intercept? What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take a value of the concentration at some time point over here, and concentrate. this is concentration and this is the time point. So that is concentration which is known at some time, you know, and I know slope minus k. How do I calculate slope? You know, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 or x2 minus x1. You can calculate the slope that I mentioned earlier in my previous videos. So that's how I get the minus k. And x is some time point over here. So that is t plus, okay, this is ln by the way, ln of c. And this is ln of some c0. Through this equation, I can find out my uh, intercept. So here this, all right. So once I find out the slope with this equation, y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1, okay, I'll find out the slope and I can find out the initial concentration uh, c0 uh, through this equation. So once I have the, once I know the intercept, intercept I'll simply plug in, in this equation. Uh, I'm going to provide you with a volume of distribution or you can find out, I hope you are aware of the volume of distribution. Ah, what is Volume of distribution is nothing but concentration is equal to dose divided by VD, right? So once you extrapolate your concentration, you'll know the initial concentration and you are aware of the dose and you can find out the VD, okay? So, and you can find out the absorption rate constant by calculating the method of, you know, by, from the method of residuals. So you're extrapolating this line, this terminal phase, you're extrapolating pulling back and if you subtract your initial uh, concentration values from the extrapolated values you can find out the absorption rate constant right so you can calculate all that okay now let's get into the problem in our next video I'm going to stop here